Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> it is like 9 o'clock at night and I meant to record this earlier but this day has kind of been a mess. I have a class at 9am and then I have a class at 2. And then right afterwards I started making dinner because I've been very, very lazy like all last week. I literally had like two packets of soup once for dinner and I was very hungry afterwards but I just went to bed. I was not in the mood for like cooking food last week so I just like cooked a whole week's worth of dinner I'll be eating the same thing all week I don't care about that I'm very lazy lately and then I ate dinner at like 4 and then at 5 I took a nap and I woke up now <laughs> at 9 um uh, I'm not having a great day <laughs> Now I've been having a great week, like all of last week was just kind of a write-off, it was kind of a failure. Um, I've had a toothache here since the Friday before last, so over a week. Um, and I don't have a dentist here. And apparently it takes years to get put on an NHS list for the dentist. So I had to go private. I haven't been to them. <laughs> so, like last Monday or Tuesday, I made an appointment for next Tuesday. Um, I also ordered a SIM card, so I was going to ring like the NHS of like a non-emergency line. So like if you don't have a dentist, you can call them and they'll get you an emergency appointment at a dentist's. Um, so I was going to do that, but the card never <laughs> arrived. <laughs> Um, I only ordered it like Thursday and they were like, oh, it might take two business days to arrive and it wasn't there Saturday, so I haven't checked the post yet today, but I presume it's probably down there by now or tomorrow, but the toothache's gone, <laughs> mostly. It's, uh, it still hurts. I can't eat on this side because it still hurts when I bite down on the tooth, but it, it's not an emergency anymore because it's not hurting me, um, so I think I'm just going to wait until my appointment next Tuesday. Um, but I mean, if it does get bad, I can always call that number because I presume my SD hurts downstairs. I just have downstairs. Um, but because of that, I've just been like too tired, <laughs> too lazy to like do anything. I studied maybe like twice last week. I'm a little behind on some of my study. Actually, I'm very behind on most of my <laughs> study. Um, but I need to catch up with that this week. I also did not record a video for tomorrow. <laughs> There's supposed to be a video going up tomorrow. I could record it now. I could record one tomorrow. But I'm really not in the mood. But I do have a study video saved because I streamed on Twitch last week. So I think I'm just going to put that up instead. And I said to myself, no, those study videos are like a little additional extra that go up on Thursdays if I've been productive that week. But no, now it's my lifeline, it's going up on Tuesday. <laughs> because I was just having a bad week. And by the looks of it, this week is going to be the same. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm very, I don't know if it's the, the isolation getting to me. But I've been sleeping a lot during the day. Um... And I've been trying to get back on like a decent enough schedule, but my classes like move around a lot. I kind of now understand what my Monday will look like generally, but um, the rest of the week seems to move around a lot. I don't know if that's just because they still haven't like aren't set on the classes or what, but I can't see consistency in it yet. Um, I don't know, I'm just tired. I have a class tomorrow at 3. I've run out of cereal as well. I ate the last of my porridge this morning. <laughs> so I need to go shopping. I need to do like a big shop because I literally like the, the dinner I made for this week is the last dinner I've got as well. I don't even have any pizzas or anything left in the freezer. So I'm going to have to go shopping this week. Um, I'll probably go tomorrow because I have a class at 3. But I also signed up for like a PhD study fair and a CV and cover letter writing thing for my professional development class. So, um, uh, I might just have to not go to the PhD study fair. It's kind of early for me to be, um, looking at stuff anyway. But, I don't know. I'm just having a bad week. 
<laughs> I'm very tired. But I'm also like not tired because I just took a four hour nap, so. I don't know what's happening with me. And it's not like it's not something coffee will fix. Because I literally like made coffee the other day and like took like three sips out of it and then had to throw the rest of it out because it got gross and cold and my milk was not great, not the best. Like it tasted fine, but there was like little bits on top because I microwaved it, so. <sighs> Hopefully tomorrow is a better day. Probably not. side though this was in the post I think my mom crocheted it for me for Valentine's Day it was literally like no no it was just in an envelope by itself so um yeah I don't know I'm still in like a bit of a funk yesterday was my dad's birthday and I completely forgot I remembered the day before and I was like oh remember call dad tomorrow and then I forgot uh, my mom had to remind me. I felt so bad about that. And then I just, I don't know. I had a 9 a.m. lecture and I just was not feeling it this morning. And I have a quiz on Thursday that I haven't studied for at all. But it's not like assessed, it's more just so that we know how how much of the course we've taken in so far, I guess. Which, like, I'm grateful for because I always feel like I'm never learning anything when I study but still I'm just so tired all the time and I just I'm like napping all the time and I don't mean to I also just I'm so bored but there's nothing to do and I've got nothing to look forward to like at least when we were in lockdown before I was like oh I'll get to meet up with Sky or I'll get to meet up with the classical girls or you know whatever like when lockdown's over but I'm like when lockdown's over now the only people I have to meet up with are like people from my course that I don't know really which means like it's not a fun relaxing meet up where we're just like hanging out drinking coffee you know like we don't even have to talk to each other we're just like in each other's presence kind of thing it's gonna be like a whole like meeting for the first time kind of thing it's gonna be like a stress in and of itself um, like, I don't know, it's just, I think being on my own is starting to get to me. Because I was thinking the other day, I was like, if I was sharing an apartment or like a house with other people, you know, like if I had like roommates kind of thing, I feel like it'd be different because I feel like here we, like we're roommates, but we only share a kitchen because, you know, whereas I feel like if, I was in like an apartment or like a house with other people like we'd be getting along better I don't know also I don't know what's happening with my accent <laughs> um I, I don't know maybe that's not it maybe I'm just like living vicariously through other people I know I'm just so tired of everything <laughs> I want to be in class I want to be in class so bad I don't online I've 
I'm done with online. I was motivated week one and there was nothing to do. And now when there's everything to do, I've just lost all my motivation. I'm so tired. I've got enough food, hopefully, for three weeks, three or four weeks. So I don't have to go shopping for a while. I mean, I might have to pick up like a cereal or something sooner um, than that. But I can always just go into town for that. I don't have to go to the supermarket. I was just thinking, if I have to go to the supermarket again, I might just get a taxi back because it'll only be a couple pound. But it's, cause it's like a 22 minute walk and my bags are so heavy because I get like a month's worth of groceries at a time if I can. Um, just because like buying a packet of carrots does me for a month. So like instead of buying things individually, if I buy like, a regular pack or something it will do me for a while so I don't know I'm gonna go take a nap no I'm not I took a nap earlier I can't take more naps uh, my SD card came maybe I'll order my plant pot for Phil my philodendron that's currently living in my shower that my mom got me for my birthday <laughs> if you haven't seen him check out my Instagram Phil the philodendron who lives in my shower but yeah I need to get a pot for him but I need a phone number to order the pot so now I've got a UK phone number so maybe I'll go do that now I don't know I'm tempted to take another nap oh I'm just I'm physically tired I'm mentally tired and I've given up on school already yay lockdown phone quiz this morning I got 21 out of 40 which sounds kind of bad but most of the questions had like two or three parts to them and I think there was only two that I didn't get any part of the question right so I got like part of the question right for all of them which I'm happy about because I'm a week behind on my bone stuff anyway so I was okay with that and I also managed to identify pretty much every single bone that was non-human which you would think it's easy. <laughs> you would be wrong. <laughs> I got one human bone and one animal bone mixed up and then I was confused at one point thinking one bone was a child, like a, a non-adult bone. I was like, are you non-adult or are you non-human? I don't know. But it was non-human. It was a bird. <laughs> but yeah, so that went on and then I did some study and then I had a laser safety Thing and an x-ray safety thing but they were mostly just going on about how lasers and x-ray work and how the rooms need to be set up but I'm like the rooms are already set up I'm not I'm not laying out the I don't know it didn't make any sense to me anyway I also have a package from Zan apparently they have sent me three things a moving in gift a birthday gift and um, their journal their mental health planner uh, which is very kind of them to send me. I didn't ask for it. They just said they were going to send it to me. And I was like, ah, oh, so sweet. Thank you. But um, I have a feeling this is the journal. 
but the other two haven't arrived. I think the welcome or the housewarming gift or whatever said, Amazon said it arrived ages ago, but I never got it. It could have been a problem at reception's end because sometimes if two parcels arrive in one day, they'll just say, they'll only send one notification. So then when I go down, they only look for one parcel because I, as far as I'm aware, there's only one parcel there. Which is fine when I'm going to pick up things that I ordered because I can be like, no, there should be two parcels. But if people are sending me things, then I don't know how many parcels there should be. So I don't know what happened to that. But let's do an impromptu. Ooh, it's way thicker than I thought it would be. Impromptu unboxing of the Mental Health Planner. Your mental well-being is a priority, so add it to your schedule. This mental health planner gives you the opportunity to focus on your mental wellness through simple exercises while you keep track of your weeks, months, and year. With helpful tips, opportunities for reflection, and calendars for organizing your time, this planner is a fantastic tool for a year of personal growth. Plus, it's undated so that you can pick it up whenever you like because it's never too late to start organizing your mental health. Isn't that so cute? So I have a bullet journal if you watched my last video, my bullet journal video. So I don't know if I'll be using this this year just because my bullet journal's got everything in it that I need. And I find that if I have like too many journals and stuff, then I start like filling in stuff on one and then on the other and like everything's not in one place anymore it's like things are all over the place so I might not use this at the moment but it's undated so I can use it if I decide my bullet journal's not working for me or I can use it next year or something but it's so cool okay let's see I love this idea I love an idea of an undated one because even when I have a school journal or something sometimes I just won't use certain months like you know, the start of the semester, there's nothing going on. So I literally don't fill in those ones. And it feels like kind of a waste. Okay, so let's see what we've got. This planner belongs to who made it, who illustrated it, all of that. Let's see. Safety plan. Warning signs. Which warning signs can help you notice when your mood is changing? Actions, which actions can you take if necessary? Contacts, who can you call or text to help you? And what are their contact details? Professional contacts, which professionals or organizations can you reach out to if necessary? And what are their contact details? That's so cool. And then it's also got like examples for each. That's cool. Okay, so then you've got a spot for the month and then a tip. I'm not going to read out the tips because you got to buy the buyer for that. And then you've got your monthly spread with a little affirmation at the bottom. Write some positive affirmations. For example, I am kind. I am worthy of love. I deserve to be respected. And then you've got your weekly spread. And then a weekly recap. What went well this week? Did I engage in any self-care? What can I improve next week? Get creative. Draw, write, or create anything you feel like. You, and then because it's such a simple layout, like you could fill out, like, you know, different, you could colour in all the days of the week if you like liked having coloured headings or whatever. And then it goes through like that. All the different days of the week. Weekly recap at the end. And monthly. And then I think there was something else at the back. I really like that it's really simple because then you can do, you know, if you're having a really creative week or creative month, you can like, you know, colour in the whole page or something if you want to, or you know, like design the whole page. And then if you're just like having a craft week, you can just like literally fill it out as little <laughs> as possible, which I like. It's kind of like a bullet journal in the sense that you can do whatever you want with it. Um, but. It's already got the like boring bits done for you because <laughs> I always find that to be the boring bits of filling out my thing. And then at the back it's got a yearly correction. You've finished filling out 12 whole months of this journal. Congratulations. Take some time to reflect on where you are now compared to where you were a year ago. What are your best moments? What are you proud of? And what do you want to achieve in the next 12 months? I need to get a little trophy at the back because you're a winner. I just think this is a really cute idea. 
it's really simple and creative and I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this when I do eventually start filling it out so thank you to Zan for my mental health planner if you want to check at this out I'll leave a link in the description down below if I can find them um, and it's from Vangelina Skull here on YouTube or Zan as they prefer to be referred by but yes so cute I am so happy with this thank you Zan <laughs>
just because I still own it and still wear it does not mean that I I am anyway on the same wavelength as her and her views. I just wanted to say that in case anyone saw this and started hating on me. Um, okay. <laughs> Whoa, clean my- I'm gonna finish my coffee and go clean my kitchen now. Also look! Phil! He's so happy! I think. I think I need to get a mister and a little dust cloth because he's- he'd be a little dusty. Phil be a little dusty. He old. He old and dusty. You look great, Phil! starting to feel more like myself after the week before but just today and yesterday I've been like well I was productive yesterday I cleaned the kitchen but today I'm just so nah. I was supposed to video chat with a friend and then she had to cancel it because she's working on an essay so I was like oh, okay that's fine whatever but then Dan also wants to play Among Us. She asked me yesterday and today. Well, she asked me yesterday and I was like, oh, let's do it today instead. And she was like, okay. And then she's like, so we're still on for today. And I'm like, I really don't. I don't want to do anything. I just want to sit in bed and watch Charmed for the 700th time. But I've also been doing that like all week. So, I can't even be like, oh, I just need a day to take me time, because I've been taking me time for like four weeks, even. I'm just, I'm so bored, and like so, I have like nothing to look forward to, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I don't know, I'm just having like, it's not a bad week, like the week before last was a bad week, because I had my toothache and everything but I'm just having such a like struggle week or like everything is a struggle it's a struggle to go to class even though I go to class in bed it's a struggle to study even though I'm behind it's just I don't know maybe it's quarantine or lockdown or being on my own that's getting to me I don't know, I'm just not having a great week of it. This whole vlog is going to be very boring. It's just me complaining about having a bad time. I just, I think I just need something to look forward to. Not like the vague idea of like getting into the lab eventually or, you know, meeting my classmates in person eventually or having someone from home come and visit me here eventually I mean I mean like a solid like this thing is happening on this day and it will happen I think it's just the vagueness of like oh things will eventually start it's, you know I need like a start date do you know what I mean does that make any sense I don't know 
I just need something to look forward to that isn't a vague promise that it'll eventually happen. I don't know. I think they're lifting some of the restrictions here on the 1st of March. So I think what I'm going to do is one of my classmates and I are like kind of close. So I think I'm going to ask her if she maybe wants to like go out for coffee and like walk around. Like we can't have coffee in obviously but like grab a coffee and just like walk around town or like walk around a park or something. I just... I don't know. It's just not been a great week. And I'm really unmotivated to do anything. I've been looking at a um, property. I don't know why. Zan sent me a post of this house that she's looking at. And I was like, oh my god, it's adorable. It's like a tiny house. She's like, I want this house. And I was like, I want this house. And then it just sent me down a rabbit hole and looking at property. Um... That was like my one joyous thing, but then it's also depressing because I am never going to be able to afford <laughs> a mortgage. I picked a terrible job field. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just uh, not having a great time of uh, it. Not great post or update or whatever. Yay, lockdown. So your girl is finally heading off to the dentist. I need a face mask from my bag. A face mask. Uh, it's like a seven ten today. Walk away, so I'm giving myself like an extra five minutes to be there early. Hopefully, I don't know. I'm kind of worried. I hate the dentist. I hate the dentist. I've had to have so many teeth pulled. I was like, I'm terrible at taking care of my teeth. Okay, but also I'm Irish, so I like genetically have bad teeth as well. I was quite mi literally missing three of my adult teeth. My body was just like, you do not need it. We ain't gonna form them. They ain't need it. So <laughs> my mouth is kind of effed up. So I kind of hate the dentist. But I'm not as afraid as I used to be, which is good because I used to have to go with someone. My mom like had to be in the office with me. Not holding my hand, but I had to be able to see her. So I was always terrified they were going to do something and not tell me. But yeah, so I've, it's quarter past, the appointments are half past. Um, so I have to be leaving now. So there's just a quick little update. I'll get back to you guys when I'm done at the dentist. Yeah, wish me luck. Hi. So, I'm back from the dentist, and the news is not great. So the pain I've been having is in the tooth I had a root canal in. So I kind of figured they would say, you need a new root canal. And they said that. Um, yeah, they were like, you might need a new root canal, but then he took an x-ray of it, and he was like, actually, that's a really good root canal that I've got. Um, so he was saying like if it was a really bad root canal, it would be easy to say get a new one and there's a good chance that, you know, everything will be fixed. But the fact that it's already a really good root canal has them kind of like worry that redoing it won't fix the problem and that root canal just isn't working for me. Um, so he was like we're going to send these x-rays off to a specialist and see what he says because he'd be the one doing the root canal anyway. Um, see what they say, but it is kind of likely that they might say, um, that I'm just going to have to get the tooth pulled because the root canal I've got is a very good root canal and it's not working. Um, there's not much a new root canal might do, but we'll see. They might say, no, we'll do one. But then also that's like 500 pounds, I think, or at least my original one was, so... I can't afford that. <laughs> um, also, I, I don't want them to pull the tooth because I've already got a gap right next to that tooth. That was the whole reason I got a root canal in the first place. It's one of my missing adult teeth. Hey! Um, it's right next to that. So I'd have a double gap, which means I would have to get an implant 
maybe two because I'm already like that tooth that's missing is like quite a big tooth so it's I think it's one of my molars that's missing so like I already have a huge gap that hasn't closed because I had one taken out up here and the tooth around, tooth around it like pushed in and closed the gap mostly but this one's still like fully open so like you might even have to get two implants so like that sounds very expensive and I also need a filling up here which is £99 and I need an x-ray of the front of my teeth which is £10, an x-ray of this side of my teeth which is £10 and if the x-ray at the front of my teeth shows that I need fillings then I need three fillings and they're £75 each and oh my god like this isn't all this year stuff or like quarantine stuff like I probably would have needed these anyway I know I've got a cavity in my front tooth here because you can see it from the front it looks like I have a speck of dirt in between my teeth all the time it is nasty but um the last time I was at my regular dentist he he noted it like for the first time um, and he was like we'll keep an eye on that and if it gets bigger we'll give you a filling Obviously it's gotten bigger and I now need a film. Um, but obviously I couldn't go to my last appointment with my dentist because of lockdown. So obviously, you know, that would have been something that I could have gotten done before I moved. And my parents would have paid for it before I moved. Um, but I couldn't see my dentist for like just a regular checkup appointment because of quarantine. And my dentist is in Northern Ireland, <laughs> not Ireland, Ireland, um, because it's cheaper. So, yeah, I, you know, some of these are things that, like, probably been a problem for a while, but they weren't hurting me, so I didn't notice them. Um, also, he was like, we can't, there's not really much we can do for this one at the moment, because, um, you know, like, we could give you antibiotics, but it's not hurting enough that the antibiotics would do anything, we think. He was like, um, you're better off waiting until it hurts more, if it does, um, for antibiotics, because then they'd be more effective. Which, fair, I've taken, like, quite a lot of antibiotics in my life. Um, so I'd rather put them off if I can, and this isn't hurting me that much. I mean, it doesn't hurt at all unless I, like, bite down on something. Um, but even then it kind of wears away if I, like, keep biting down on it. So, I don't know. That's my very sad update to a very sad week. Um, but hair dye, though. <laughs> because I plan on dyeing my hair again soon, so that's an upside. I just, all of this sounds so expensive, but I'm also one of those people that, like, can't be like, no, I don't need that right now. Thanks, dentist, dude. Um, I'll get that later. I've got an appointment for this filling. She's 99 pounds. Um, obviously the filling's the front I need because, like, it's the front of my mouth. Obviously the one on the back of my mouth I, I still need because that's next to a, a gap as well. No, it's not. Actually, that's the one part of my mouth that doesn't have a gap in it. I could afford to lose a tooth there. It's fine. <laughs> Not a mindset I should have, um, but I definitely like the front of my teeth I need to take care of, but I also can't afford to. <laughs> it's a very depressing week. I don't like this week. I mean, by this week I mean last week, because this is Tuesday, but still. I don't know, I'm very depressed. <laughs> if I was on the NHS, it'd be so much cheaper. There's like a two-year waiting list that dentist to get in the NHS and I presume it's the same for like all the dentists and I'm also presuming I can't wait two years. Also I won't be here in two years so I don't know. This is sad. Sad week. I'm gonna order takeaway because if this tooth isn't getting any better then there's no point in waiting for it to get better. I'm ordering takeaway tonight. I'm having burgers and I'm having an Oreo milkshake because I god dang deserve it. I've had a bad week. Two weeks. I've had a bad like three weeks. I don't know. Life's not great. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it was very uplifting and heartwarming and just a fun old time over here on the Megan McGrath channel. 
Next week's video should be better. Me and Dan have got something in the making. If you've been watching our podcast, the Coffee and Ketchup podcast, available on YouTube and all podcasting platforms, <laughs> we've discussed what we're doing this week. Um, I've got to go edit this video now, because it's Tuesday, so this video should be up in like, I'm not wearing a watch, um, a few hours. <laughs> I've edited like, none of it. Usually I edit it as I go, but I have not done that, um, because I've not been having a productive few days. Anyway, this clip is now like seven minutes long. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry, I've been really depressing this week, but I'm just trying to be honest with y'all. I'm not having a great time. Um... I'll see you all in the next one, which will hopefully be more uplifting. <laughs> I say hopefully with so much hope, because hope is all I have. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like and turn on notifications, even though they're broken. Okay. <laughs>